there, lounge fly lovers. Welcome back to Living on the Fly. My name is Giselle, and we have our fur friend, Fairy Floss, here with us today. Now, today I have a lot of lounge flies to show you, but a lot of Disney merch is really cool, and I can't wait to show you. But first, Fairy Floss, as always, wanted to come by and show you her fit of the day. She said she's a love bug in honor of Valentine's Day. What do y'all think, everybody? She's the cutest little, little ladybug there is. You have the cutest outfits, Fairy Floss. <laughs> well, she also said that she wants to do her puppy pick segment first. So I thought we'd let her do that. You know, she is the hardest working pup on the internet. <laughs> So let's do that before we get to unboxing our Disney merch and lounge flies. Hi friends, welcome back to my puppy pick segment. I'll rate each bag one to four paws with four being best. Four paws and whiskers, even better. Four paws, whiskers, and a tail, I just can't live without. You know I love fairies. So when I saw this Tinkerbell, my little heart went a flutter. It's a Loungefly exclusive that's going to be released soon on their website. Those wings, her face, and the sequins make this a perfect bag to me. So I give this bag four paws, whiskers, and a tail, because I just have to have it. If you follow Loungefly, and you already know they have a puppy collection. This is the Tinkerbell Pet Backpack, the treat bag, and the leash. It's all so very cute. Of course, I give this four paws, whiskers, and a tail. Next, we have the Sleeping Beauty bag. It's available now. I like how it opens on the front to Prince Philip and Aurora dancing. I just wish the pictures of them were drawn differently. So I get this bag, four paws, and whiskers. How cute are these flowers from Alice in Wonderland? It's a Loungefly exclusive and available now on their website. I like their little faces, but it might be hard to get into. So I give this Four paws and whiskers. How fun is this poo bag? They are flying with balloons. Each balloon is a zippered pouch, too. It's available now at Loungefly and Small Shops. It gets four paws and whiskers. My mommy said they did her girl bell dirty with the artwork of her face. But I do like all the dandelions on it. I might just accidentally bite them off, though. It's available now from Box Lunch. So this one gets three paws from me. Thank you for watching my Puppy Pick segment. Until next time, keep wagging your tail. All right, friends. So... Besides lounge flies, I found something else that I thought was really cute. You know how I love me some uh, Sleeping Beauty. Um, I think it's pretty. And I found this on Macari. It's a Magic Memories Disney collection, Sleeping Beauty. And it has the little number on the bottom of what number it is. And I got it really cheap, y'all, on Macari because it had a little um, pen ink on the, on the little comforter there. I took a little magic eraser, came right off. No problem. And look how pretty it is. Oh, it may not be worth a whole bunch, but I don't care. I just liked it because I liked it. But besides that, I think I like this other one better. This is Madame Alexander. I've always loved those Madame Alexander dolls. Do you remember getting those in Happy Meal? You used to collect those. Well, this is Sleeping Beauty. It's the Prince and Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, right there. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was so cute. I wish I could show it better, but um, it does have, on the bottom, it has the Circa 2000, and it has the number of the edition that it is, or the piece. 
I thought it was very, very pretty. I like them. So I'll add that to my Sleeping Beauty collection over here. Now I also got some more stuff from Dis Family Adventures and they do a lot of pickups from the parks, um, all of the parks and um, from um, Character First, Warehouse here is as well. This stuff I believe- out and get all of your Walt Disney World needs met. <laughs> They do a great job though, by the way. They're very, very professional. They, they package things wonderfully. Go check them out as well. Like them a lot. This stuff I believe all came from the parks. Maybe not, maybe Character Warehouse as well. I love that they package everything nicely and they ship everywhere is my understanding. So check them out on Instagram. I got a lovely pin and some um, cute um, stickers. Love that. Thank you, Dis Family Adventures, Gwen and Lauren. They're always doing lives too. Um, I went a little crazy last night, so we'll be getting another box from them soon. Oh, I got these ears. Don't ask me why. They're probably a good price or something. Um, they're cute. They're cute, the Disney 100 ears hat. And it looks like they're um, sparkles on there, but it's not. It's little things. I don't know. They're cute, but I know they were probably like $12 maybe. I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. Also, we got some other stuff. Ooh. Oh, I know what that is. Hold on. We also got this, whatever this is. Ooh, this will go with my... Y'all know I don't collect Funko Pops, but... <laughs> I had to get Star. Look at that. It's the Diamond Edition. Oh, it's so pretty. He'll, he'll sit back here with his other little star friends. So cute. Love that. I know they got this from the park. Yeah, I like that. Um, I'll probably take it out of the box. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I did get these. Oh, I think I accidentally ordered these again last night on their live sale. But I got some more ears. Uh, my family said we thought you weren't going to get ears. They're still on me. Don't tell them about this set, too. And I ordered a few last night, I think. Ah, more ears. Hey, but you can wear them. You know how I said I don't like things that sort of like just sit around or whatever? I can use everything. I don't know where. Well, I do know where I wear the ears. <laughs> but look, these were like $1.99, if I recall correctly. Look, you can't beat that. $1.99? Come on now. <laughs> My family always said you'll go, go broke buying bargains probably but anyway they're super cute love these love them and i'm gonna broke behind anything won't i okay so this is this is what it was all about right here this is what i've been waiting for i think fairy claw showed this on her puppy pick segment if i recall correctly i got yeah she did she did this was the icons bag let's see what it looks like Oh, check that out. I wish you could see this because I can see on the camera it's not picking it up. It is really pretty. Oh, it's prettier than I expected, y'all. It's got a lot of holographic details. This purple, purplish blue, I don't think it's picking up a little bit, but it changes. All this is silver holographic, the, um, the stars. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, the Walt Disney right here that's written out. Um, it's in a glitter, like a glittery holographic. I can't even describe that. That's so pretty. Oh, look, there's Tinkerbell. Well, all this is an applique. There is a pocket down in here. Of course, that'd be really difficult to access, but it's there in case you needed it. I love this purpley blue uh, trim they have. And they have the same, somewhat similar. It's a silvery, um, the silver holographic color right there. More of those holographic stars. They're all printed on right there and there. Oh, it's a little crooked on this side. Oh, well. Um, it's super pretty. Silver hardware. It's a very black bag. I love the colors. That's why I liked it so much. But y'all know I really wanted the Disneyland one. I might have to get that one. I love the vintage look of how they, the font that they use for Disneyland looks better to me than the uh, Walt Disney World. Still cute, but I like it. Let's see. Oh, on the back it has Mickey, a Mickey silhouette with the castle. That's pretty. 
And let's check out what's on the inside. I really like this bag. I wish it lit up though. That would have been cute with different color lights. Um, on the inside we have, huh, more of the icons. We have the Epcot ball, we have castle. There's the tree from um, Animal Kingdom. Very pretty. All right, and let's see if it has, I know it has a slip pocket. I'm like 99% sure it has slip pocket or no pocket. And we're looking like no pocket. Okay, not a problem for me. This bag was um, at the parks and it was 88. Yeah, it was $88. I think it's pretty. Still want the Disneyland one. Oh, but well, I didn't, I forgot. So you know how I don't buy ears. Well, <laughs> of course I don't. Just saw two pair, I think, right there. But these do light up. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. They do light up and they match the bag. So that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. very, very pretty up on the wall. And I like that they put the little rechargeable stuff in there, you know. So it's right there. They match the ears. The ears match the bag anyway. You know what I meant. What do y'all think? You like those ears? I think they're pretty. That's cute. I like that together. Love it. So this next box that I got came from um, Black Friday. I still have quite a few in there uh, that I need to go through that we haven't opened yet. And this one I really like, okay? I know not a lot of people probably like it, but I thought it was so cool. You know how I love retro vibes. I like those retro vibes. And what perfect thing than Pinocchio. Check this out. The colors are so pretty. And it's the little golden books uh, characters or the drawings like the little golden books. So it's very vintage. It's got that vibe to it that I love and the colors are exquisite. Check it out. Um, I got it on clearance. I'm sure it was really probably not too expensive. I don't even know if they still have it out. Probably you can find it somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know where I got this. Um, I got this from, oh, I got this from Pink Ala Mode. I like Pink Ala Mode a lot. They have great other things as well. I know a lot of pe pen people get a lot of pens from them. Um, but this is so pretty. I love the colors. Check out the little characters and the storybook scenes. The back has more of them. Two side working pockets. Beautiful color. I like this color a lot. Love it. Silver hardware. A nice pocket on the front. And let's see what's on the inside. Oh, that's surprising i think this this might be one of my very few bags that has nothing on the inside look at that it's just plain nothing at all i'm sort of i'm shook i'm shook <laughs> i don't care but it's still super cute to me. It's just odd that there's absolutely nothing on the inside. No design whatsoever. Hey, that's all right. The outside, that's all I'm looking at it. Well, you know, when you're going inside to get your stuff out. But that's super cute. You can't pass that up for, I don't think, very much that I paid for. it. I also got the wallet. Um, it's actually one of those um, card holder, you know, kind of wallets uh, that matches it. Had they had a full wallet, yeah, I know I would have gotten that. But it opens up like that has places for your cards on each side and it has the same scenes on the outside of it super cute if you follow my instagram or my tiktok living on the fly you've probably already seen this but i wanted to show this bag to you i don't know where i got it from i don't remember who i got it from probably lounge fly on clearance or something it's been a long it's an old bag um it's from alice in wonderland as you can see but i wanted to show it to you because i bedazzled it i thought it turned out really pretty i hope you can see that i'm not sure that you can but i used um aurora borealis crystals red crystals on there and it does shimmer and shine so pretty but you know what i 
I, I never really looked at this bag much until I got it down to start messing with it. And it's really a nice bag. It has sparkles in the little, little tiny sparkles in the um, vegan leather. And I love the feet. I didn't realize I had feet. I mean, I knew I had feet, but you know what I mean? Like, you don't ever really look at stuff sometimes. It also has two side working pockets, but I also forgot. Oh, I lost the little plastic part. It's okay. On the zipper pulls, these are some really cute zipper pulls. Look at this. It's um, a little leather, one vegan leather, but it's a, um, what do you call it? Paintbrush. <laughs> I know I get it. It's a paintbrush, y'all. Isn't that cute? You remember when they had to go paint the roses? But not only that, my friends, check this out. This is the bucket of paint. Look how cute for the other zipper pull. Yeah, I love that attention to detail. Super cute there. And then on the back, well, there's, it's gold, gold hardware. So it has a cute, um, what do you call it thing? Plaque. <laughs> Having a, having a moment, y'all. But another cool thing about this bag is look at the shape. Of course, it's a different shape. It's it's obviously a card, card of hearts, uh, but it's a square rectangle, not a square rectangle. And um, it's probably the same size as most of them. Let's check it out next to this one. What do y'all think? Yeah, it's similar, similar in size. Very cute, but look at the back. It's cute too. I like it when they put little little things on the back and they put a cute little scene there with our friends. Well, one of them's our friend, one of them isn't. <laughs> Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland. Let's see what's on the inside. I don't even think I looked at the inside. Um, it has, oh, that's pretty cool. It has all the guards in there. Yeah. So it turned out pretty cute. I liked it a lot. I think it's very cute. And um, maybe I'll use it for Valentine's Day this year. Sort of doubtful, but I might. I don't use all my bags all the time. Well, I try to. What do you think? I think it turned out good. This next lounge fly that I got was something that I have been looking at for quite some time. Really had been. Um, it would come and go. I missed it when it was on clearance through lounge fly, but I was able to find it on Macari and it is something that I really like. Now the, the um, actual movie is okay. It's not my like top five or anything, but this bag, it got me y'all. It got me. Check this out. This is Robin Hood. And I love this bag. The design is fabulous. Just wait till you see. Ow! <laughs> the dangers of lounge flies. <laughs> Besides draining my bank account. But that's another story. This is so cool. Let me look at it for a second, y'all. Oh, I like the colors. I love the colors. All right, so check it out. It has um, all the characters on the front. You have Little John, Robin Hood, and the Monk Guy. <laughs> but you may be wondering about this lovely carriage that's right here, huh? That's pretty cool because check this out. Ooh, isn't that neat? You can pull the little curtains back. How? I don't know, but this back there. <laughs> Oh, look, look, look. I'll show it to you. Isn't that neat? I love the design of this bag. Oh, so this is an applique. Um, these are fabric curtains that you can pull back. Oh, so cool. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me tuck it in there. Maybe that'll make it look cuter. Yeah, we'll tuck it in there. And we have, what is it? King John and Sir Hiss. Don't get me lying. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but I think it's super cool. There may be somebody back there. I'll check it out later. But this is an applique and it has a pocket behind it and you have two pockets on either side. You had the reward right there, the reward poster, the Disney lounge fly plaque. And on the back, yeah, the henchman don't, don't remember his name. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this movie. Sorry, y'all. Should have watched it. I think I will. I'll watch it. Well, I gotta work tonight, though. <laughs> but anyway, 
my problem not yours this is uh so like i said silver hardware it's a cream colored bag with these really pretty colored greens and yellows um on it and oh it has the you know the narrator that uh rooster he's in there check him out that's interesting i like that they threw a little a little a more obscure character inside that's cool and it has a slip pocket it does have a slip pocket well at least it had a, a print inside huh pretty nifty what do y'all think of this bag i think um the design of it is fabulous i'd like to see more like that i'm sure there are some other characters and movies that they could use this type of design you know how they reuse designs quite often especially those bubbles are real popular right now oh yeah fairy floss had them in her um winnie the pooh her winnie the pooh pick it had those balloon bubbles check that out it's super cute right i love it this box came from loungefly <laughs> what a surprise right <laughs> um this is yeah the one i thought it was you remember what i told you i um ordered yeah it is the one i ordered um from a uh, box lunch and i got the wrong one well, I told you I was going to order the right one, and I did. So I got it. Look how cute that is. They put this in here. If you want to, you can go use this code and go pop yourself. <laughs> Apparently, it's for a, um, yeah, you get uh, a free buddy with the purchase of a pop when you pop yourself. Okay, so go do that at Funko. But I have been wanting this bag for a while as you know i ordered it a long time ago and didn't get it but now let's see i have it oh let's try and open it up got into it and here it is oh let's see what it looked like oh yes oh it's so cute it's perfect for valentine's day y'all look it says love 28 oh it's so cute and that lenticular on there i think they said it was a tri is it a triticular or just a lenticular it looks like regular lenticular intermission and then it has a um it has a scene of two swans like kissing that's pretty sorry i had to look at it <laughs> getting i'm getting caught up in my lounge fly um it is really cute though look at why does it feel all mushy it feels weird hmm looks like it got mushed out some i'm gonna have to put more fluff in it y'all not a not enough fluff in this one but it is a um an applique this horse this horse this car part right here the back of the car with the little wheels is a oblong shape um pocket with silver hardware we also have mickey and minnie right there this feels weird i'm sorry y'all this uh the texture of this doesn't feel like regular lounge flies it's got it's got some stuff look can you see you can probably hear it. all of it's like that actually it's all like that uh mickey and minnie on the front but you know i really like the colors that's what got that's this is what got me this black with this beautiful color oh so pretty that and i like that it has donald and daisy they don't they don't get represented very often do they but i like that and they're at the drive-in movie too on date night and here we go over here oh chip and dale look at that y'all chip and dale on there that's so cute they're watching out of a out of a box of popcorn so cute i love the stars on the black and the clouds and then on the back happily in love it tells you a few of the movies i think they're going to see at the drive-in so cute yeah i like that i like the trim color so pretty um silver hardware probably already said that just get excited because it is pretty cute can't wait to wear this hmm. and on the inside ah here we go I got the wallet already. Remember I showed you the wallet already. And it matches that. 
inside of the other wallet. It has pink and like a 50s vibe with uh, milkshakes and, and some uh, records with little Mickey Mouse silhouettes and some popcorn too. Back boxes of popcorn. So cute. Well, I'm going to have to fluff this one out because it's a little mushy in odd places and wonky. So uh, I will definitely do that. But I think it's very pretty. I think it's a very cute bag. Maybe this is triticular now that I look at it. Looks like it might have three different scenes on it. Whatever it is, I like it. I think it's super cute. What do you think? Okay, y'all. Thank you for joining me today on Living on the Fly. And as always, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Comment, like, share as well. Do whatever you got to do to get the word out because I have more lounge flies to show you. And Fairy Floss says she has a lot more pics that she'd like to show as well. So we thank her for that. Also, I wanted to give you a heads up. I have um, Seekers of Spirits, SOS Seekers of Spirits. That's my um, TikTok little channel, I guess, TikTok over there. Um, and I show some of my paranormal investigations. So I just started up, I have probably five or so um, videos on there. So if you're interested in paranormal investigations or anything ghostly, Go and check it out. Um, I have a good time over there and you'll get to see what I do when I go to work at midnight. <laughs> Thank you again. And as always, keep living on the fly.